everybody. I hope you guys are all well. Welcome to my channel for another vlog and welcome to a very sunny Cornwall. It's been an absolute corker of a day today. Still ever so slight wind chill but I'll take it. There's blue sky, there's sunshine. Much better than what we have been having and what is apparently coming up this week as well so let's enjoy it it's the first day of the long bank holiday weekend keep thinking it's saturday can't lie but it is in fact friday and tomorrow addy i think i have told you this a few times but whether it's sunk in yet we are going avenging tomorrow i don't actually think you will understand those words like what sprite would but we are off to start our event season now you guys will know that i had actually planned to do this about a month ago, I was all entered for Morton. I was on the wait list, but I was entered and something in my gut was telling me that I wasn't quite ready for it. We hadn't gotten out on grass cross country by that time. And I don't know, just something was telling me. And I really do think that you have got to trust your gut when it's telling you something. Um, my pony looks like she's going to sleep, to be honest with you. I'm tired. You've got to be plaited now, haven't you? <laughs> oh, you want proper good sleep. She hasn't had that hard a week. I've had a very busy week. Um, I, today is the first day that I have not felt like a zombie. I've had financial year end at work, so it's been pretty full on, but I have managed to get out on grass with Addy at cross country schooling, and she was a very good girl. And we today have just popped to a school and very quickly had a run through of our dressage test ahead of tomorrow. So we are, as ready as I think I will ever be, if I'm completely honest. I don't know if you ever feel fully 100% ready for your first event of the season, but I'm keen to give it our best shot. We are going with zero expectations and just to go out again and gain some experience. We did have another event. I was going to do them in quick concession because it's quite good for a younger horse to do things like that in quick concession. But I have literally just had a message to say that Bovington is cancelled next weekend. So I'm even more glad that I have decided to go tomorrow. A little bit touch and go. I, more me probably just overthinking if I'm completely honest. I just wasn't sure going all that way. And I hadn't gotten out on grass quite when I was thinking about it. But I got out on grass. I thought I'd decide after that. And yeah. So obviously we have decided I'm all loaded up and packed and ready to go. But it was all, I didn't, I wasn't organized. I didn't plan anywhere to stay tonight or tomorrow night. And also just thinking about cost by the time you pay for stabling, somewhere for me to stay. I don't know, it's a little bit early in the season for me to sleep in my trailer. I mean, I would do it. I did have a rem uh, memory come up that Chris and I did Portman. And that's beginning of April when we stayed in the trailer. So yeah, I probably could have done it, but it's just another added expense, especially that I now know that I am losing money from my entry next weekend as well. So yeah, I have got company. I'm not going on my own, but we are heading off early tomorrow morning. I'm actually quite excited and as sad as this is, I won't be saying this when it comes to the end of the season, I'm sure, but I'm quite excited to set my like eventing alarm clock. We all know when... Yeah, tell me that I'm going venting without actually telling me. Well, that will be my alarm clock set tonight. My friend is very kindly, Gemma, who has been on vlogs in the past. Maybe not one recently, but she is coming along. She is not horsey, um, but she is coming to keep me company in the car. Bless her. Oh, her mahoosive favour. Um, there was talks that I was going on my own. And as much as I'm happy going on my own, I think it is sensible to go with someone when you are going quite as far as that. And I don't actually know of anybody down here, but it's heading to Waverton House. So that is where we're going as our first experience of the Cotswold Cup. Now I watched Meg's vlog from the championship of Cotswold Cup last year. And I remember thinking, I really want to try and aim to get there. It is a little bit further than normal, but we have lost events down here, unfortunately. We've lost Bicton until the three-day in October. We've lost Pontesbull and what else have we... Yeah, which Pontesbull would hold two a year. Bicton would hold two a year. So we have lost quite a lot of the events that we would tend to go to. But we are in Cornwall. We love Cornwall. I love living in Cornwall, but the travelling side of things is a little bit of a pain but 
even to go to like Bicton for training that we did with the Howden Way the other day. We've been Pontusbull. We're used to travelling. Um, so it's just that little bit further. But we will see how we go. Um, I haven't got much left to do. My tack has all had a lovely spring clean. I sat in the bent on the bench in the sunshine, cleaning all my tack so it was all sparkly. It was actually desperately needing needed. Um, that's for sure. My number is already in my number bib. I've got my jacket, stirrups, everything basically. Everything is in the car that's ready to go. Trailer is all cleaned out. Hay net is already filled up in it. And I've just filled up my water boy, which is the water container at the front. So last thing I need to do, I've even done the stables. <laughs> These ponies, they spent the night out last night. So then I thought they won't mind too much being in today. Uh, well, not today. It's the afternoon. They haven't been in all afternoon. Um, they've actually had some more time out there whilst I've been doing all the cleaning and packing. And then I'll come in, I've given Addy a bath. And the last thing I need to do is just get on and plait, which I haven't done in a long time. So I'm going to be a little bit rusty. I did just have a little quick tidy up of a mane because that was needed. But other than that, I think I'm pretty ready to go. Yeah, don't think there is anything else. Um, Jem is coming and staying at mine tonight so that then she doesn't have, because she actually lives half an hour like further down in Cornwall, um, so that she is, yeah, here ready for in the morning. Bless her. I honestly can't thank her enough. I need to go and buy a whole load of snacks for us. I need to go fill up fuel as well. So I'm going to get Addy platted do the fuel, get the snacks, and then basically get home, have dinner, and go to sleep because I need, I still need to have a good night's sleep. I did have a very good night's sleep last night, and I've, oh, I know how important sleep is, but oh my goodness, I can't believe how different I feel today to what I have felt all week because of not having enough sleep and not hitting like my sleep goal. Um, I think I've been averaging about five hours and 20 minutes a night, which is not enough. And I am not telling anybody to go and have that amount of sleep. My goal is to try and get seven hours of sleep a night. And recently I've been doing quite well at that. However, this week with being so busy and just not enough hours in the day, and sometimes you just go through those weeks, don't you? Those odd days where short night sleeps is what you're having. But thankfully I had a very nice and long one. I didn't wake up this morning until probably like quarter to 10, 10 o'clock, which was lush. Um, so yeah, it just proves how, how important sleep is. So I want to make sure that I do get into bed, read my book for a bit, get a good night's sleep, and then I'll be bright eyed and bushy tail for eventing tomorrow oh i'm so excited making an eventing vlog i almost didn't vlog because i didn't think i was going to have anyone going with me and then i was like just got it out my head take the pressure off me but actually i am pleased that i am um like i say no expectations for tomorrow i don't know what's going to happen um we're just going there purely for the experience and of course as always going to take you guys along with us what's your story what's your sign it's like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection, lights a spark It's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers Okay, so Addy is all plaited I have done the full up plait But <laughs> whether it's going to well, To be honest, whether any of them are still going to be in This is the first time I've actually plaited her overnight So I have no idea whether she rubs them Or does anything So we shall see in the morning. It might be a quick band job if it is bad. But yeah, I'm off now to fill up my tank full of fuel, get some snacks, and more than likely I will see you, I'm not even gonna say bright, early tomorrow morning, so it's not gonna even be light at that time. <laughs> oh, good morning, good morning. Come on then, let me see the damage. Oh, you are a good girl. Look, they're all still in. Can't lie, I've just been a little bit panicked driving over thinking, oh, I hope that all the plaits are in because there isn't very much time in the schedule um, to be re-platting. But very happy with that, very, very happy. Right, let's get on, let's give you breakfast, midnight snack. <laughs> it does feel like in the middle of the night and it's fighting. Hi, are you sleeping? I'm surprised neither of you are lying down, but yeah, that's okay, that's all right. It has just gone four. Very bright and early. I'm quite surprised. 
didn't need my multiple alarms that I set up. One went off and I was like, ping, I'm wide awake. And I just got up. I was like, I'm not even going to risk snoozing because I do not want to go back to sleep and, and not wake up. So, yes, Bright and Annie, let's give them breakfast. I've only got to give breakfast, hitch up, get loaded. And then Gem is still sleeping, is still sleeping at home, bless her. I said, you can have a little bit longer and then I can pick you up on the way through. So, yeah, picking her up en route. I don't feel, it feels like it's, at, oh, I don't know. I don't know what time it feels like. It definitely doesn't feel like four o'clock. I haven't had one of these starts for a very long time. <laughs> we are doing well for time. Always nice when you start off the day like that because you feel relaxed due to time. Like your first little, little milestone tick, should I say? Um, I got here actually, it was a little bit early, so I've just been able to put on a little bit of mascara, make myself feel alive. It's four minutes to five, wanted to be on the road for five. Gemma is just making a cup of tea and will be out. So we are in my housing estate, just waiting for Gem. Oh, Addy's saying hello and good morning to you. I don't know, four and a half hours to get there, which. I don't know whether, yeah, you guys probably all think I'm crazy as well, but I feel slightly crazy right now, but it is what it is. And unfortunately, when you live in Cornwall, you have to travel to be able to do what you love. So that is exactly what we're doing today. But looking forward to it. We're seeing Meg up there. Hannah's going to be there. Um, Meg's actually on a lot earlier than me. She's on at half past nine for dressage this morning. She starts, um, but I think she might hang around to say hello um be nice to see her i haven't seen her for a little while but i'm actually going to see her quite a bit in a minute oh mum's ringing me now because she's going to probably be like oh you're on your way already so let's speak to her and more than likely we'll see you up there it's daylight Woohoo! hello sweetie pie hiya oh good girl i'm gonna give you a quick drink we are about 40 minutes away we have done really really well for time Really, really well, haven't we? Yeah, good girl. All right, we're nice. Oh, you're nice temperature as well. We'll get you a drink and I'll get you some polos in the shop. All right, we're just quickly stopping for a quick wee and get you some water. Okay, good girl, I'm getting it. Supplies have been bought. Bacon roll. Oh, Addie's pouring the ground. I'm going to offer her another drink because, as we all know, we can lead a horse to water. Thank you. Want a drink now? Have a drink. Have a drink. Don't get me wet though. But we can't make them drink. Come on. <laughs> I gave you a carrot before now. She's like, Mum, you just gave me carrots. All I want is carrots. <laughs> Never mind. We'll be there shortly. Pop that all back in there. Okay. Next stop is Waverton House. <laughs> we have arrived at Waverton. It is beautiful. We're just having a quick little look around. I, I don't know why, but I was like, oh, we'll go this way towards the show jumping. Even though when we drove in, we saw the cross country to the right. So that's where we've got to go and walk the course. But coming here, I have just spied. Who is that in the warm up? <laughs> uh, I haven't got time to stay and watch you, Meg, I'm afraid. Sorry, I need to get and watch my, uh, my round. When she's in deep concentration mode. Course walking, we've just done fence three. We're now off of the course so I feel like I'm able to do this because obviously you're concentrating because the course is being used. They're currently on the 90 but they take the, the ditch and the brush down there whereas we're going up into the top corner but it is beautiful. Look at it, it is stunning, absolutely stunning and I'm excited to uh, ride around it. The ground is holding up, I think incredible considering how much rain and everything that we've had. But they've done, oh, there's my first minute marker. You were looking at me there, <laughs> like, what is that noise? That's the first minute marker. Um, it is already available to download on the Cross Country app, but I always like to do it myself so that I know if I've walked shorter or longer than what the course walkers, course designers have actually walked it. Um, but we're coming up to our first double, an A and a B. Nice bit of room in between. Looking good. Have no, but we're out of the course now. Oh, okay. They come up down there and go around to the left. Uh, so we are we are safe for a minute, which is why I'm vlogging because then I can I don't have to be fully concentrated. <laughs>
gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. Yo, you will never regret the things that we'll do. Cause I wanna drive through the summer night, and when we Like this bit of grass seems tastier. Yeah. I got over here. Good girl. Now, what was that? Yeah, plat, tack up, get changed. Run through my dresser. Oh, I need to stutter as well. I'm so out of the. I'm so rusty. I can't. I should have written a whole list of what needs to happen before each phase. I'm rusty, aren't I, Addy? I don't know what I'm doing. The course is looking good. It's not going to be a walk in the park, that's all I'm going to say. It's going to be a challenge, but a challenge that we are capable of. And nice and inviting to begin with, to get us going well. So, yeah, I'm excited. I'll be honest, I've got butterflies, but good time. I love it, because you just film everything. I'm used to this by now. Chris is usually still asleep in the car, and I'm like, babe, can you come film, please? <laughs> I'm not saying that once. What is she doing? Today's going to be a good day. Addy, there's a crack behind you. What <laughs> I am so impressed with you and your plants. <laughs> now she's going to drink the whole bucket. Do you want more? Should I get you some more? So many people say about studs whether you should have two or one, but he said because her legs are so fine, it could cause her to uh, spin and um, twist as she lands and stuff. So that's why she only has one, which was very interesting for me to know. I don't think that's going in straight. Oh. being very kind of moving all the fences so the takeoff and landings isn't like churned up although the ground is holding up incredibly well like I said earlier but just because they are doing those changes I think they are still gonna probably be on time but I'm just a bit conscious that I'm not got enough time before my dressage I want to be on at one o'clock um, Addy has already got her saddle on and ready to go I just need to put bridle on put my hat on jacket 
boots and I just don't want to get on and be in a panic flat or rushing. So I've decided, I've just learnt the course, know where we're going. I'll watch a couple when I go down for my round, but just going to, yeah, I want to get on nice, chilled and relaxed. Um, and make sure that I've warmed up my legs. I've obviously been, Addie's been stood in a trailer for a long time. I've been sat in a car for a long time. So just want to make sure that I'm all nice, warmed up, relaxed to get on for dressage. To not in, entice, is that the right word? Enable her adrenaline to come up. So it's not the best. I would like to obviously walk it. I was hoping to put into practice what I learned at the Howden Way Academy with Mandy when walking a course, but unfortunately timing's just not quite allowing it so not gonna fret not gonna worry it will be all okay um i'll just watch a couple go around later but it looks a lovely and flowing course Just no head for keepers in the street. We don't like that, no, no. we don't like that. It's not your best look. It's like a camel. <laughs> well, she says I am sand colour. Yeah! <laughs> That's my heritage. <laughs> no, I, I got a bit of Arab in there. <laughs> in the desert, um, She's just, I'm just, yeah, really pleased with her attitude. I was going to say, she's being really nice and like chilled out, isn't she? Yeah. And that's a major part of it as well, isn't it? Cause You're not Louisa. You're not. <laughs> a pretty name, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, let me come on. I can't quite remember the whole list myself. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier in the vlog, this is a brand new test to me. So this is the Cotswold Cup dressage test, number 82, if anybody is interested. And something you'll see there, I'm just doing a figure of eight. And I feel like in the last year, I've really learned to be patient before getting into the arena and not panicking when you hear the bell, the beep or anything like that and just take your time before actually entering now i always like to come in on the opposite diagonal to where i'll be turning at c so that i can change the diagonal halfway down to help us stay straight we didn't stay we did have a few wobbles on our first center line scoring at 6.5 we then do a half 20 meter circle from b to e and she's really I love her trot work at the beginning of this test. It's all really lovely. It's forward, it's supple, and we scored a seven for the half circle, and then that turn right and track right, we scored another seven. 
before changing the rein and I think because I'm allowing her to stay forward she's able to stay more balanced so we then went up half a mark and scored a 7.5 and then coming around to do the same on the other rein so we do score more 7.5s this way going so perhaps yeah our left rein is better than our right rein but that's just something it's only half a mark but she's just so I think I learned in a lesson recently before doing this test was to allow her to be more forward don't try and expect too much of her of like collection because that's then when she goes to maybe argue with me a little bit but as you can see she is lovely and settled in her frame and doing some really really lovely work so that's just us changing the reins so this one we went down to a seven and then it's on to our first canter which was on our right rein which is our worst canter strike off just scoring a 6.5 the judge said that she was against our hand but we then pick it back up to score a seven for our trot work coming here in a second she did do a lovely downward transition you just can't see quite because of that horse but she did do a nice one there so we scored a seven and then we're back to walk which she came back to me really nicely kept settled in her frame and here I felt like we were going like a snail's pace but actually she's moving forward nicely she's tracking up um, just slightly going against my hand there but we did score a seven before we turn right so there's no free walk on a long rein which I always quite like in a test and Addy does seem to like it as well then we are trotting here now. I feel like she was anticipating this canter transition, but she did, didn't did go quite against my hand as much as she did on the other rein. And we scored a seven for our transition. Then another 20 metre circle in the middle of the arena. Again, she's looking really lovely, suppled, and was feeling really nice as well. This is my, yeah, my preferred rein. Again, another nice downward transition, which we scored a seven. And then here we have to do a half 20 meter circle from F to K, which is a little bit different, but then it's getting you in line for coming down the center line. And I'd just say she's gone ever so slightly more tense here than the beginning trot work of the test. And we come down our center line, which we scored a 6.5, the quarters to the right at times, back to the walk before our halt and salute which we also scored a 6.5 unbalanced but she just fiddled around but we did end up i think finishing square but there was just a lot of fiddling to get there oh that was good Oh my god, wow. That's so that was so good. So Less so good. Her. I'm so proud of her. She looks no, really no, smart. No flicky head, no. Just no, really. Just, and she looks really balanced as well, even yeah. with it being a bit sticky. sticky. Yeah, yeah, no, I canter is still a little bit wild because it's just it's such I think a tight it, read, it, isn't it? feels more wild than it looks. It looks yeah, yeah so very, I thought it looked true. really smart. Oh, no, she looks you. amazing. I think that's gonna be a very good mark. Thank you. I, I'm so glad I wasn't expecting it to go like that. It's ridiculous. Oh, you know, when you just kind of, you allow them, like, like you have no expectations and you kind of go, yeah. she is spooky, she goes tense, she goes worried. Yeah. She's allowed to, today is just exactly. That. But then she goes in like that and you're like, oh, yeah, you're a grown up. <laughs> oh my word, you grown up pony now. She's like, did you see me? <laughs> oh, superstar. You well smashed done. it. Well done. That was so good. So, so good. Yeah. Right, jumping time, madam. Jumping time, yeah. She was on that up a minute ago. She was allowed a treat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, aren't you? Oh, Addy. Keep the day up by that piece. You're going to love the next next piece. Oh, she was watching quite intently, wasn't she? Yeah. She loves a jumping. I just think it's going to be different for her to get used to this ground she's never jumped on ground like this before so right i think i'm just gonna have to hold her hand a little bit but well trust her yeah and just go into it as relaxed as you did the last one and yeah, yeah. like you say it's all brand new experiences for her isn't it and for you on her yeah 
I just said to Jem, we're all good, let's pack up, go home. <laughs> Job done. <laughs> I've got a smile on my face. <laughs> That's what it's about. Love that I haven't had to ask you once to film. <laughs> uh, I'm used to this by now. Are you happy there with your snacks? You heard it, didn't you? <laughs> I'll save the next one for after show jump. Oh, actually, I did buy you some custard creams. <laughs> <laughs> They're part of the snacks. It's actually, God, that you can That's bribery, all right? Save again in the show jumping. I haven't got any more, they are all gone now. Uh, no, there's nothing in my hands. She'll appreciate come. another eight minutes worth of snacking time. Snacking, sleeping, snoozing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like you say, it is the first of them. First of it, exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. I've not got, I've said all along, I'm here to enjoy it, have fun, no expectations, but I just feel nervous regardless of how we do. I just, I've got butterflies, but excitement butterflies. Turn those nerves into excitement. Yes. That's fine. Yeah. I love how close everything is. Some events you go to, you have to walk miles for the different phases. Just straight through the gates and boom, there we go. After a really good warm up, I was excited to get in the arena and I think so was Addy. She was proper excited. She was quite forward and really did well considering the ground was quite tacky. I didn't, I just tried to stay balanced there. We did, over the first few fences, we were getting quite long strides, um, like seeing a bit of the longer one and then here she just chipped in and said, mum, I need to just add one in there. So I felt around this corner, because we were coming to the double, I was like, this is time to sort of rebalance. We had enough time, take a breath, reset, before we had this double, which I had seen people having problems, but didn't want to have that in my head. So I just gave her a few little clicks, but she jumped through that really, really well. And here she's just going a little bit long, but still covers the ground and gets a lovely stride to that one. Then we're coming to the penultimate fence, which again, we've got a lovely stride over. And then this is where it all went wrong. And I feel so bad on Addy. I just, I pushed thinking she was going to go and unfortunately we just had the top of the pants down. <laughs> oh, she felt like she was on sprints. She looked like she was loving it. I saw with my phone the last, I pushed and she went, no mum, I need a stride and I rushed her and she just sat quiet, let her deal with it. But, oh my goodness, she came with the ground brilliantly. Yeah. Really chuffed with her. <laughs> but she just was on sprints, she was like, yeah, I'll go mum. Yeah, <laughs> Wasn't spooky, wasn't nothing. No. 
wouldn't even argue, like, didn't want to argue with me. She just, oh, she felt incredible. Oh, I'm gutted about the last one, just because it's the last one. But... <laughs> I'll be beating myself up about that all day. Now. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> but. Oh, what a little pony. She still did a lot better than you thought she was going to, oh, so no. it's, she yeah. She wasn't by the ground. No. Not at all. lovely through the double as well. Yeah. Really nice. I bet the lady in the middle got some cracking photos. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> she was grumping them quite big, wasn't she? Yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. <gasps> Pew! <laughs> so we kept seeing those longer strides and she just kept going, yeah, go, go, but... Not ideal, really, but given the ground north. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Quick turnaround now and get out on that cross country. Ooh, that's filled me more confidence, actually. Good. Knowing how much she's keen for it and wants to jump. Not that she ever doesn't want to jump. That's a stupid thing to say. <laughs> but she's not spooky at other things. Good girl. Crikey, I had to think about that because I haven't used this for a while. I have got a nice new pink one, but I haven't set it up and I don't know if it counts up or counts down, so I'm going just with what I know. Good to go. No place to be. <laughs> so I thought I'd just get another shot of you raring to go and still like, oh, oh, not ready yet. I'm free day eventing. This is all Emily does. <laughs> <laughs> sits on the ramp, I don't do anything. No, what I do do is I push my horse for a stride when there isn't a stride. Well, there is a stride, but I pushed her to go. I shouldn't have pushed her to go. Can you tell I'm beating myself up about it? Just didn't deserve it. <laughs> she didn't deserve it. I deserved it. She didn't. Dear of her. Well, she loved it nonetheless. Yeah, she did. We're back eating. She's happy. She loves this life. <laughs> I actually day, think didn't she enjoyed she? dressage today. Yeah, absolutely. She was quite happy. Yeah, I'll flip my toes, Mum. No problem. We just unloaded. Oh, hello. Oh, flags. Okay, okay, Oh, bless her. It's okay. They're over there. You're Thank safe. You very much. <laughs> Just needed a poop help. Pumping, pumping, pumping. Anyway, I'm going to say that she pooed before I dressage test, and that is what Sprite used to do every time. Just have a poo before I dressage. It reminds me more and more that it's granted for day. So you've seen a couple of little snippets, but I have in fact been very, very fortunate to have been sent my Equireal video of our whole round, which is a fabulous training tool to look back and also for the memories to see how well she's tackled this course. So you see she's gone over confidently over number one and two. Number three, just coming through that wooded area, she just went a little bit spooky, a little bit green. So we came back to trot before cantering again and we got a nice stride over fence three. Now before fence four, she was a little bit spooky, I think going away from maybe the main part of what it felt of the event but once she saw the fence of number four a and b she locked on and jumped it well now here it was a, a real real shame and maybe me just being a little bit complacent because she had been jumping so well i think maybe ahead that there was a water fountain in the water and she may have had eyes on that i don't think she was fully concentrated but you can see we picked back up and she's carried on like nothing's happened it was just an unfortunate little blip that i really don't think that she deserves this was quite funny she was like oh water not quite sure okay yeah but that's fine i can deal with that no problem and she came out really strong and over that one really nicely now here around this corner this is kind of turning for home on a little bit of a downhill so it's just trying to balance her um, but again 
She was keen, seen the fence, was concentrated. And now this next fence was actually the one I was probably the most worried about. It was again on a downhill with the ground getting a little bit tacky, but we did have a little bit of a chip in at the end, but she wasn't phased by the fence and soared over it. We're now on the uphill climb coming back towards the start. This one we took a bit of a flyer. <laughs> nice, simple log really, which was nice. And then we had a double of houses, which she jumped really well. I probably could have just balanced ever so slightly on the middle stride a bit more, just so that we would have not got so close, but uh, that's me being over analytical and picky. Here she got a really lovely jump again, and then we're coming back into the final field for the final couple of fences and she is still full of running which is really nice still keen and i feel like finishing really strongly like she knows what her job is and is understanding about the cross country so yeah huge thank you to wet Real for providing yeah. this fabulous training tool i'm actually over the moon good absolutely I, I think that was my fault i don't think i think you I've intentionally got, taken her for a walk i'm just walking her just oh. to walk her <laughs> oh no i'm really chuffed with that considering she hasn't been out and done it for since last year and even that was only a couple of times oh no i'm so pleased and she jumped the one that i was the most terrified of number five was the one and it's always the one that you take for complacent yeah just gone over a double that was hard like more concentrated yeah and then, what do I do on the next one? I'm like, oh, it's an easy offence. She'll just She's do it. She's on it, she's just going to do it. No. Yeah. So, I'll be honest, the mistakes I had today was my fault. We never blame the horse, though, do we? It's always up. <laughs> I mean, she could have gone. It was just a kind of like, oh, fence. Like, as if she wasn't concentrating on the fence. Yeah, and all of a sudden it was in front of her and she was like, hold on, what do I do? Yeah. Like, yeah. And that's why Cam tells me just laugh, because that's her just not concentrating and going, it's not actually the fence. No. But then it showed it the second time round because she just went, okay. I've got the, I'm hoping that I'll get the equi reel video because the water is so funny. She literally jumps the jump, then looks down and it's like, oh, there's water. And then she goes, okay, and then canters. <laughs> she literally stops dead to then go, okay, I know water. It was just the way she, it was like, I've just got to look, then I'll go, mum, no problem. Uh, yep, so absolutely. Check it out, okay. Good girl, yeah, right, I think you've walked enough for a minute. Liv. Strip you off, wash you down. Hey. Oh, I'm really pleased. I'm glad I made the effort. It's a lovely venue up here. And uh, yeah, time to wash you down. Did you lose a shoe out there? I felt like you did. Okay. No. Okay. I wasn't sure after that number five whether she did or not. But yeah, we were a little bit slow on time. It was quite sticky, taking up a bit of time out there. And also with the stop, I didn't stress to like spin around and get going. I wanted her just to go. Okay, chill, and then come round. But I don't think it was actually the fence that you were scared of, was it? You were so good. She was just, it's when, that's when you know she's a young horse, when she first went through, and that's what loses your time as well. Those first bit of wooded bits, she went through there so cautiously, like, oh, not sure, not sure. Yeah. Whereas a normal horse probably just canter straight through, but I let her trot. Yeah. And then down across to number four, she's like, uh, why are we going this way? I want to be going that way. Like, it's all that that takes the time off as well. But, you would have gone. There wasn't really any places like that that you could like let them full on open up. There was yeah. always a fence. But I think if there was, she would have been gone. Yeah. It was good fun. It's good fun. That's what I love about her, is it's fun. And mummy doesn't be too competitive. Right, let's get you stripped off. Oh, good girl. Shall we tell you what? I'll tell you what, actually, and then we can sort you. You enjoyed that. She just stood so innocently in the start blocks, not understanding what was going on. Whereas some horses get in there and pull the ground, and she was just like, okay. I wait here. And then we just went off for a little canter. Good girl. You did so well. You did so well. So well, so proud of her. Good 
Yeah. <laughs> we are almost ready to take off, aren't we? Not quite. We're going to go over and get our dressage sheet, but I just thought first, I bought some chaff and I've just filled that in with a load of water. She has drank really well, which is something that I do love about her, that she does take on a lot of fluids. But I just want to make sure that she's got a little bit more um, with some electrolytes in there. So she's got them. Ben have got her bioceramic wolfwear boots on. And she'll travel home in them for part of the journey. But we are all packed up. And we can't decide whether we're going to stop on the way and get food. Or we might head down and get a pizza. Decisions. It's a tough one. Because I've got to go get my dressage test anyway. So we'll go suss it out. Let's go suss it out and we'll, we'll decide when we get down there. How about it? I've seen three girls go past, which is what <laughs> I'd questioned it when I was going around the cross country warm up. Not what I should be concentrating on, but I did see. Because Gem said. To... <laughs> just want to check what it's like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair. Yeah, because pizzas are all. They all come different, don't they? I like thin and crispy. Yeah. Mm. Thin and crispy, yeah. Oh. How do you like your pizzas? Comment below, let me know. It does have to have about 12 tons of cheese in there. 12 tons of cheese? Literally, every type of cheese. Every type layers. of cheese, multiple layers. With everything else stuff, like layers up, yeah. 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 Sounds, okay, I think we're talking ourselves in it to a pizza. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. So we've been good, well, we haven't been good. We've got tons of snacks in the car and also, I said, well, we'll share one now and then we'll get something else on the way home. <laughs> this is just to tide us over, yeah. just until later. That looks absolutely cracking and I'm so excited to get into that. Um, but I thought I would end the vlog here before we embark on our journey at home. We should make it back just in enough daylight, I reckon. Just. Might be a bit yeah. dimmified, but I do think we'll do it. But today has actually been awesome for me. I don't know, I didn't feel like we were fully prepared, as I said at the very beginning of this vlog, I wasn't thinking we were that prepared, we were more prepared than Morton was going to be a month ago, but I still didn't know whether it was quite time to be eventing, and yes we've had, I had a mistake, and Addy had a little bit of a green moment, but I'm laughing it off because the rest of it, if you work that percentage out of the rest of like all the other jumps yep. she was epic and i have really really enjoyed today i'm glad we've made the long journey up here it was really well run cotswolds have done a love cotswold cup has done a lovely job to the venue and i will most definitely be back for another cotswold cup and it was actually a really nice drive up it wasn't far like it, it was quite easy wasn't it, it was, motorway yeah, most of it was motorway so it's not too bad at all um i don't mind driving like that well, i haven't mentioned our dressage score but we actually got a 30.5 lots of 7.5s in there um a couple lower marks for like our halt which i knew that would be you'd obviously have heard all the marks on my voiceover when i've done it but yeah to finish with 30.5 and a comment of some very pleasing oh can't read it some very pleasing the wind's blowing it some very pleasing work needs to be a little bit more supple through the back to help with transitions and canter which I know that that's absolutely fine but she didn't go in there and was like a complete tense wobbly mess she actually felt really nice so yeah each three phase i've absolutely loved i was more nervous than i thought i would be for today but turn them into butterflies good butterflies excitement butterflies and yeah it's been a very successful day thank you very much to you coming you and saving are the day very, very welcome and, uh, anytime yeah you've actually really enjoyed it i have day, yeah you? yeah absolutely <laughs> like <laughs> Never been to a horse event no, before. No. I come, I speak to her and I'm like, oh yeah, I did this, did that. And you're probably like, <laughs> I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that sounds amazing. Like, I have no idea, but no, I have loved every second. Yeah. And Addie has been amazing. She has been. You've bonded with Addie today, Oh my you? God, she's just lush. Like, I'm just like, you're just so perfect. And as you can see, we've been having cuddles and loves. <laughs> and yeah, I wore a white top. White top. Like, Dude, yeah, I'm on white. I'm wearing white as well, to be fair. <laughs> but good thing with these you wash up so well every time but yeah anyway gonna end the vlog here because i know somebody has been very busy filming a lot today which yes. is very exciting and yeah. i can't wait to go back and watch it um yeah hope you guys have enjoyed the first event of the season i feel like it's really put us in a good stead for the rest of the season i'm gutted that bovington is cancelled next week so i don't know when our next event is gonna be which i'm actually sad about because i want to get out and get this post cross-country buzz again um yeah. 
maybe there's an unaffiliated Pontus Bourne at the end of the month so maybe I'll try and see if I can get entered on that because I know I'm not going to have a chance to go eventing in May so then we're looking at June um, so we'll try and get one more before Addy has a very well deserved couple of weeks off yeah. I will go sort that out and I don't know when I will see you guys next I don't have anything up and coming at the moment it was Bovington but that's kind of gone so I'll find something else I'm sure but as always <laughs> hope you guys have enjoyed it please do like comment and subscribe if you don't already and until whatever next time is I will see you all then bye, bye.